you all know you're all familiar the story of uh, Otunqua. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. The flame. It's a, yeah. it's a flame that really it travels like uh, in seconds. She's there and she's there, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, travel like that or she stands still on a uh, wooden fence. Uh, and what I was told by the old people that uh, don't let it get close to you, especially if you drink. Mm. Because uh, they said, I'm not saying this, they said uh, there's a story about that. Uh, if she gets near to you, she'll drink all your liquor or your wine or whatever. You're drinking as long as it's alcohol. If you finish that, then she'll beat you up. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to say I, mean, I was a drinker, a heavy drinker. Uh, not, but not now. It's been about 14, 15 years I didn't drink. Anyway, uh, we were park, you know, where Marshall, Marshall Road, the uh, Shannon and all that. We used to call it us, us, Nicholas, uh, back home, we used to call it Dominic's, Dominic Street. Dominic. Yeah, Dominic. So, me and my friend, James Nelson, we're drinking, we're drinking wine. Okay. We're park. Uh, we're the only two of us. And then uh, I told uh, my friend, I said, Jim, I says, look at that, do you see that? He says, yeah. And uh, yes, and there was a fire, fire that was jumping around. Uh, you didn't know if it was next to you because it traveled so fast in seconds. In seconds, you see it there and you see it over here. Just by moving the lashes of your eyes, that that's how quick she could travel. And my friend got, he was afraid of it. And uh, he says, uh, start your car, please. <laughs> and at that time, we're all poor, eh? I had a lousy battery in there. Oh, no. <laughs> So you can't hear the crankshaft turn with the starter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was lucky the Boston Con Chamber was very good. She had a lot of, uh, you know, uh, just a good, good car. But, so another turn, boom, she went. Put it on gear and get out of the place <laughs> as quick as we could, you know. But I've seen this, but it's very strange. I've only seen it one time. Kind of like never seen uh, back again. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, I, I heard about that. Mm -hmm. There used to be um, a man that drank a lot that lived in, up the bay somewhere, and they said he used to walk from the village, and if he would go to different houses, and he was real mean, Sakum Sky, mm -hmm. you know. Sakum Sky. Yeah, and then he passed and keep on going. They said one night. I'm just touching a little bit here and there. Go ahead. It's One night. Interesting. Yeah, it, it caught him and it beat him up. <laughs> well, don't go beat him up. Mm -hmm. It changes colors, eh? It's like blue, yellow, and, and it's jumping. It's just dancing jumping. around all the time. Yeah. It's dancing. On top of houses, too, huh? As they and say. They go, and the windows, too. Yeah. yeah. They, are they yellow? <laughs> They used to say too that it was like an omen. Do you know Saskona? Mm -hmm. To me, I, I, I would yeah. classify it an evil spirit because a lot of times people uh, people uh, dig up old spirits of ancient days so then they, they go, they get on the loose. Because I particularly seen a uh, scene at Dominic's old house on the window. Oh, Am I supposed to do all that? that? Many years ago, when um, she's when my um, great uncle was sick, and my father used to go there, that's not like, oh, you don't know it, it's <laughs> too long ago. Um, he used to go there during the night and stay with uh, with the Dasonaga's wife. 
and uh, she said she was alone and she was downstairs and uh, I guess she was waiting for my father to come home. She was just, I don't know how she was sleeping downstairs, she said, and she woke up, she opened her eyes and she saw two fireballs running around the windows. She said one was big and the other one was small. And she said they looked like they were playing, running around the windows. And um, she said she just she couldn't move. She just laid there and looked at it. And then she said all of a sudden they disappeared. And they said, what's going on? You know, it's an old And she said that's true. After that, the, uh, the great uncle, he passed away. And then not too many months later, my oldest brother, he passed away. So she said that was the, the two. That's what was telling you. Yeah. Mm. One night, uh, it was a, oh, a beautiful night. It was in, um, in the fall, almost winter. And um, I was looking out. Um, my, my daughter was asleep, she was a baby then. Uh, so everything was quiet and I just wasn't sleepy. And so uh, I got up, I'm a smoker, so I was having a cigarette looking out the window. And all of a sudden across the road, um, like there wasn't that many trees as there is now. You could see the house and down the hill was the beach because she had a beach. Um, she would rent in the summertime. I was looking down there, you could see the water, the river, with the, 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 the moon. It was a beautiful night. And all of a sudden, I seen this flame from where I stood and from what I could see, it was this big, but it must have been bigger because it was like coming along the hill and it was going like this, bigger and smaller, bigger, and it was going. And um, I heard about this, this flame, Utukwa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They said that that tells you somebody's going to die. Mm. And when I saw this, I thought of it right away, and it went right, it disappeared where my parents lived, the house, my grandmother's house. Well, that's where my parents were living. And uh, that Friday, Friday or Saturday, my brother was killed. Oh. 